Hi, I'm up here at Blue Mountain Lake Museum demonstrating some stone bowls. I've been polishing all day and explaining to a couple of people but it occurred to me I should put some of this in layman's terms. All these field stone are collected from around the Adirondack Park out of sand pits where we collect them. They all, though the only tooling I don't have here is my tile saw, it's a little big for porting, but they all start with taking the rocks and cutting the bottom off with the tile saw and getting a look into the rock and seeing that it's put together okay. Out of all the rocks I'll collect out of a sand pit, one out of five is about what I'll be able to use. But once you're sure that you have a fissure-free rock and you've sh uh, shaped and polished this a little scratch away his countertop and you read the rock a little bit as far as strengths, you take and you turn it this way and you take a smaller diamond blade, not a tile saw, but this hooks onto this grind over here with a water supply, there's one on there, and you cut these relief slots in here. Then I'll put this blade on there, which is a curving blade that I can cut around the outside edge, so that when I go to use the cold chisel to pop these out, I don't put any force against the exterior wall to rock and break it out. After I've got that done, I'll have all kinds of gravel on the bottom of the rock, and it'll split all the way down to the bottom of this. So I'll go in there with this cup wheel I had designed where I had the diamond set in brass. With enough of a radius and the backing taken off, I can run this on this plane, plus I can tip it up on this angle and use it as well. Once I've ground all these troughs out, depending on the depth of the rock, I might have to go through that ser step, series of steps again, cut, chisel, grind, cut, chisel, grind, until I get to the bottom of it with this cup wheel. And then I'll switch this hole here that has uh, plastic resin with diamonds on this backing pad. Uh, polishing pad that goes on this flexible backing pad that can match up to any shape I can put in with this cup wheel. And I'll grind from 30 grit right down to 6,500 grit depending on the kind of rock. If it turns into one of these rocks that are black feldspar that puts on the Schiller effect or peach moonstone and garnet, I will polish down to 13,000 grit. And every one of these rocks have different personalities, is hence why some of them have to be polished 360, taking the crust off the exterior. Some of them, where the glacier was nicer to it and didn't set fractures, I'm able to leave the natural edge onto it still. And it saves a lot of diamonds that way as well. But that's how she goes.